All right, this is a 1953 B3B Dodge pickup known as the Pilot House. It's uh, actually been sitting back over there for probably the last three years, sitting under a tarp. And I finally decided it's time to drag it out. And Well, to be honest with you, I thought about a uh, Will It Run video. But... The answer to that is no it won't and the reason is this hood when I bought the truck this hood was actually off the engine compartment and as you can see the spark plugs are missing and water rain dirt and everything else went down there now the carburetor I did take that off about two years ago it was full of water and all the shafts are seized up and that's been sitting in a bucket of uh, Marvel mystery oil for uh, I don't know a year year and a half I put it in there and just left it but the plan is to drag this up behind the garage and get that motor out and see if it's salvageable I kind of doubt that it is but I'll get it out we'll assess that see if it is salvageable yeah, salvageable or not or if it would be better to go and find another motor. That's a 230 cubic inch. It's actually out of a 1950 one ton Dodge pickup. This I believe came with a, I think it was a 218 flathead. So anyway, I wanna get a drug up behind the garage and start getting that motor out and once I get it inside the shop we'll uh, take a look at it and see if we can get her fixed or not well while I got it out here in the sunlight I'll go ahead and give you a view of the inside of it I got the bottom seat out it's I turned it upside down I had a couple mice come running out of it but it's not bad. I took a little bit of trim off. I didn't know if that was going to come off or if it was salvageable. But I think it is. Uh, it needs a, needs a uh, driver's side door window. A little bit of body work. But to be honest with you, it's actually in fairly good shape. Uh, I know there's, there is some rust holes in it. Don't get me wrong. And I know running boards are shot. And the problem with this truck is, being it's a Dodge aftermarket the aftermarket companies really don't make anything for this there's a couple interior panels you can find and i believe that's only because it's shared with the power wagon which is pretty popular but outside of that there really isn't a whole lot even the fenders the rear fenders i looked online the only thing i could find is fiberglass so eventually i'll try to patch that and to be honest with you i bought the truck originally just for a rat rod to put a put a uh a v8 in it and you know just kind of keep it like it was and just take it to like a couple car shows stuff like that but the more i look at it the more i'd like to get it back to original over over a period of time i mean it's not going to happen in the next year or two but i would at least like to get it running and be able to you know drive it down the road but i think it looks pretty cool it's got the three on the tree let me go around the other side And dragging this up here with a golf cart it's actually kind of sketchy because there's i'm here by myself today i don't have no one to help me the voice at work but anyway it is uh i think it's got a lot of potential starter is actually down there on the floor it's pretty cool all right well let me get it up there and uh, i'll bring you back when we're ready all right we got the old dodge behind the garage now and if you are wondering why it is behind the garage and not in the garage well the simple answer is there's no room in the garage so i'm going to be stuck pulling this motor out here in the dirt uh one of the issues or challenges i'm going to have is with the cherry picker those little small wheels will not roll in the sand very well at all so probably what's going to happen is I'll just set the cherry picker in place and then actually push the truck up to it, lift the motor and pull the truck out from under it. It's probably what's going to happen. Um, 
I'm anticipating a few headaches with that. But anyway, let's get started. I just want to show you something here real quick now we got the hood off of it. I don't think this vehicle was parked um, due to mechanical failure internal. I think they had a little issue with the wiring burning up. That wire is completely bare. And you look at the coil on the ballast, ballast resistor. That wire is fried. No, no, uh, insulation on it whatsoever so i think that's probably what initially caused the issue to park this um but there is some really boogered up wiring all through here so that's going to be a nightmare i i am by far not a uh any good at wiring vehicles so we'll see how that comes out but anyway um We'll go ahead and start stripping this apart. Try to get this engine out today. I got the front end popped apart. Had to uh, use the torch down on the radiators. Core support down there. That was just so rusted in. You couldn't even clean it up. So I had to cut that out. Um, everything's unbolted. Half of them I got unbolted with the impact. The other half I had to cut off with a die grinder. Um, still got the wiring harness. I'm just going to clip it right about here, and there's another little wire. I'm not even sure what that was for down here. I'm just going to clip that and take the lights off as a unit. Again, the front end is all unbolted. Um, had to use a torch on a couple of core supports, radiator core supports, die grinder to cut some rusted bolts out, and combination between all that and the impact driver. But a couple of hours work um, getting all those rusty bolts out, but. I think we're finally ready to get this front end lifted off and the plan is to hook the cherry picker to it and then just slide the engine straight out the front because it all has to get disassembled anyway and the way the uh, bell housing is on that it's just you might as well just do it this way now As you can see, it's a lot better access to the engine. I'll set the cherry picker rate right on it. Um, got two bolts in the front, two bolts in the bell housing, and uh, that should pull right out. All right, so this is where we're at with the uh, engine removal in the old Dodge truck. I have all the bolts undone, the bell housing's undone. I have a jack in the back supporting it at the moment. I just put it under there for safety reasons while I was unbolting it um, just in case the engine wasn't balanced with the chain didn't want to pinch my fingers um, to get the cherry picker underneath I actually had to jack the truck up because it would not fit under the axle right there um, there is still a little pressure on the jack which I think is keeping it up off the cherry picker at the moment but when I let that jack down it may may fall back down in there but you asked how am I going to move the cherry picker when it's buried in the dirt? The simple answer is I'm not. I'm actually going to pull the truck body back away from it with the golf cart. That's how I drug it down here. So that should work fine. Anyway, let me get you in the stand and uh, see how well this works out. I'm doing it by myself. so. Um, 
hopefully it ain't gonna be too much of a, a hassle and that's one of the reasons I took the whole front off because it would just be so much easier that way and I, it's a couple days later I don't remember what I had mentioned about it but anyway let me get you in the stand Guys, if you see the cherry picker starting to tip over as I'm moving the truck, please say something. I think we might be clear. Well, I must say, I think that one better than I expected. Now on the bell housing right here, this is actually what the clutch and the brake pedal mount to. Your master cylinder, yeah, put you in view. The master cylinder hooks into here on the uh, bell housing. That's why I had to take all that stuff out but anyway I'm gonna try to get her up on the engine stand and get her in the shop <laughs> don't mind my fancy camera work but I'm gonna, anyway I'm gonna try to get her into the shop and uh, get her on the engine stand and that'll be a winter project um, really interested on tearing it down and seeing how bad that engine is and if we can even uh, salvage it salvage it Sal if it's salvageable something like that reuse it all right so the engine is out of the truck as you seen in previous clips I had it hanging on the engine stand and to get it through this doorway onto the engine stand was quite the chore um, as you can see it's all dirt engine stands nothing with these small wheels will roll on it and I can only get it in so far so that was a bit of a challenge you asked why did I not bring it through the garage doors well that's because there are two vehicles in the garage that have not ran in quite some time and I have a bunch of other clutter here so to get the engine on the engine stand that way probably near impossible without moving a lot of stuff um, with that said it is in it is on the stand uh, the bell housing is still on it and I know I mentioned that before and you can take the bell housing off in the truck but the way the flywheel was bolted 
I doubt you could see it, but the bolts on the flywheel actually are from the backside going towards the transmission. So you have to reach up in it, spin it, spin the motor to get to them. And as you already know, this engine seized, it's not going to rotate. The bell housing itself, as you can see here where the starter is, this actually drops down behind the flywheel. So you can't just unbolt the um, bell housing and move it back like you were to modern day engine. So the plan is uh, once I get it stripped down and I remove, I want to go ahead and remove the uh, crank with the flywheel on it and then I'll be able to unbolt it a lot easier that way. So that's the plan. Uh, I think I'm going to end this video here and make a series out of it. And the next one will be tearing into this engine and seeing if it's uh, something that we can save or if it's just a paperweight. But I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, any money I earn off of the channel is going to go right back into this vehicle. And obviously the more money you get, the quicker the project gets done. So anyway, thank you for hanging out in the garage and I'll see you on the next one.